How's everybody doing? Welcome here to another episode of the Con Man Universe Creation. That's right, everybody. We are back creating some more wrestlers for our custom universe mode, which we are hoping to start airing around the start of May. It's good to have all of you guys here today. Welcome to the stream. If you're watching back at a later time, welcome to the creation process. It's good to have you, and let's get right into this thing. I do not have that much time here today. I'm actually going to a Toronto Maple Leafs game, uh, and we are pressed for time. The game starts at 7 p.m. We have to drop the dog off at my girlfriend's mom's house, so we're, we're kind of pressed for time. We're going to be a little bit late getting to the game, but regardless, it's good to have all of you here today with me. Let's not waste any time. So the next person we have to create is none other than... Bam, 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 punch guy, and my air horn still isn't working, oh my goodness, the freaking air horn still ain't working, what's going on with this air horn, I want this air horn to work, hang on, I gotta get the air horn working, we are gonna waste some more time, I just said let's not waste any time, but we are gonna waste a tiny, tiny little bit of time here, trying to get this dang air horn to work, freaking air horn man, work for me, <laughs> Freaking work, man. Where where do we got to do? Uh, just go here, soundboard. Um, is that working? Nope, still not working. Oh my goodness. Voice lab, enable. Does that work? Nope, it didn't work. That didn't do anything. All right, well, never mind then. Uh, clearly, clearly things are not working on this end for the soundboard. Dang, man, dang, dang, dang. Huh. What if I changed it to this? Nope, still not working. Okay, well, then I guess I'm going to have to reset my computer at a later time. Anyways, welcome everybody to the creation process. So, here we go. Let's do it. Uh, so, next up is Botch Guy. So, Botch Guy, he's a heavyweight. He's a big dude in the game. And we are going to consider Botch Guy to be a powerhouse. So, let's do it. Powerhouse Botch. Not Powerhouse Hobbs, Powerhouse Botch. By the way, guys, if you have not seen, uh, you should go and subscribe to Botch Guy, okay? Botch Guy is available on YouTube, makes great content. In fact, his content has been popping off. Like, this dude's pulling in 100k views like your mom pulls in men every Friday night at the bar, okay? That's basically what Botch Guy's doing. He's just like, yeah, I'm available. Come here, everybody watch me. <laughs> No, seriously, subscribe to Botch Guy. Great guy. Uh, one of my best friends on YouTube, legit. And I actually am proud to call him a real friend in real life. So let's get Botch Guy going. Uh, we need to do this. His name is Botch. Botch Guy. And boom, boom, boom. Let's get that done right. I don't think they'll have any name other than Guy. They might have Guy available. G-U-Y. Guy, Guy, Guy. The botch. Are you guys botch guy rocks or are you botch guy sucks? Which one are you? I'm curious to know. <laughs> Con turned Sean Dean for a second. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Just making sure we're all all right. Now we need to do the face. How's all your guys' day going so far, though? Has it been a good day? Has it been everything you hoped and wanted? Or has it been an absolute nightmare? Because some days are absolute nightmares. It is Thursday. Thursday, at least, though. Thursday. That's what I almost just said. It is Thursday, so it's it's almost the weekend. And I, th I think some people have tomorrow off, if not most people have tomorrow off. So it's good. It's going to be a good Friday tomorrow, everybody, <laughs> if we can say that. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy your day off tomorrow if you're away from school or if you're away from work. I really hope that's going to be a good day, and I hope you get through your Thursday. I have lots of content planned for Friday. Friday's going to be a big streaming day. Oh, shoot. My goodness. Hang on. Maybe it's not. We got to run. 
let me take that back. Friday, we're going to have some content on this channel. Not not a ton, but a, some content on this channel. Uh, then we need the body. So if we're talking body. Thank you, King of Fate. Appreciate that. So let's go here. So the body customized. Botch guy stands at a cool six foot six. Holy she's. He's six foot six. What the frick? <laughs> oh my goodness. He's a mammoth. He's a freaking mammoth. Let's get him over 300 pounds. Botch guy's going to be a jacked 300 pounder heavyweight. There's no other way to put it. He is... Oh, he could be a super heavyweight. Oh, my goodness. We, uh... We might have some issues. Are we going to see a legit super heavyweight in Botch Guy? What what describes... So, what's the difference between heavyweight and super heavyweight? So, two, over 260 is super heavyweight. Well, damn. All right. Botch Guy's a super heavyweight. Six foot six, uh, let's go six foot six, 305 pounds. It's pretty good. That looks like botch guy. Damn. That's a big dude. <laughs> that is a massive freaking dude. Considering Ben Mallet was five six, this dude has a full foot over him. All right, get that skin color. Botch guy, there we go. It's pretty accurate. And then we get to attire, I believe, next, right? Now, this one might take a little bit, the attire. Botch guy, we had a little bit of custom stuff uh, on the last one. So, we'll see if it, uh, if it looks as good here in 2K22. Bailey Reichardt asking me, how am I doing? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. So appearance, hair and facial, boom, 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 attire. And for those of you that don't know, I am copying stuff over from WWE 2K19. So it takes a little bit, all right? It takes a little bit. Uh, he's got the hair like this, I believe. That's not the hair he had before. This is the hair he had before. Yeah, there we go. So that's the botch guy hair. <laughs> it doesn't really matter because he's rocking a hat at all times anyways. Uh, that's the color, sure. Get rid of that eye thing. Grady Dose asking, what have I missed? Not much, man. We literally just started. This is our first character that we are creating. Eyebrows, he's got the eyebrows that go in like this. Oh, uh, we'll roll with that color, yep. Cool, eyelashes, yep. That's that, then we go to the actual clothing. Because the clothing is where Botch Guy becomes the Botch Guy. So he needs a cap. That's the wrong one. All good there, King of Fate. We're only going to be here for about an hour and a half as well. Uh, I do not have the most amount of time in the world here today. So caps. Boom. Let's get him the generic... Cap right there. Yes, that's the one. Oh, shit. That's not the... No, no, no. That's not the one. It's this one. Yeah, there it is. All right. Then we go yellow. But we got to make that a little... A little deeper. A little more on this, this brighter yellow side of things. Yeah, man. There's Botch Guy. And then we go with the black... Botch guy rocks. Botch guy sucks. Then images and ready. We go lettering. This is fun. We're going to get a big old B to the O 
to the T, to the C, to the H. What does that spell? Botch. Botch guy rocks. And we need the big block letters. Botch like that or botch like this. It's botch like that. There we go. And we need to make it grow. Just like that. Beautiful. We add the color as black. Then we go outline of white. And then we go drop shadow of black. But we move that drop shadow. To there. And can we increase the size? I bet you I can. Oh, I can't increase the size? Well, that doesn't work for me. That doesn't work. No, I do not want a drop shadow. How do I uh, get rid of the drop shadow? Make it opaque. Hey, holla man. Good to see you here in the chat. Good to see you. Can I do another outline? No, it's not going to let me. Damn. Well, that's kind of annoying. They used to let you do the drop shadow. Outside of the outline. Hmm. All right, well, that's the botch. That's, I mean, that's just gonna be what it is. It doesn't look as good. We'll embose it. Looks better. Not coming through the back of the hat or anything like that. No, looking good. Okay, that'll work. And then... Oh, why, why did it get rid of my outline? Why did it get rid of the outline? Yo, what the frick was that about? I said outline. Outline. Botch. Bam. Bam. Bam, there we go. All right, good. Good, I was going to say, that's weird if that's not going to let me do that. Then I think we also need... Nope, just upper body now. So upper body is... um Like this. So we got the elbow pads to start off. Right there. Freaking botch guy, let's just send him out like that. <laughs> Elbow pad left, all right. It's just this one, right? Yep, just that one, cool. And the color is black. We will copy that right there. Hey, Amity. How you doing, bro? Good to have you in the chizat. The ch 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 chizat. <laughs> so lower arm, I think. Oh, no. Upper arm? Yeah, upper arm is next. Okay, so upper arm we need... The blank, yep, this one right here. I'm so sorry to hear about that, Sam. So sorry, bro. If you need anything, let me know, okay? Images, and then we just put a B in there. A big old B B B B B. Oh, yeah, we're only at the bees. It's uh, going to take a long time, guys. It's not going to be a quick process. Uh, definitely heard. I hear you there, Alan. I hear you. We'll see what the future of Botch Guy looks like in the CMU. 
let's do that. Uh, color, make that black. Boom, there we go. It's the b -b 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 botch guy. Copy that on over. Oh, shoot. That one needs to be adjusted, though. That does not look as good as this side. Let me tell you. When is the next 2K22 stream? I believe I'm going to get one done tomorrow. I believe I'll be here tomorrow with it. Um, that looks pretty good. Now the question is whether it's going to be doing this or it's going to be a GM mode stream. I don't know. Uh, but I definitely want to get back into creating content on this channel. It's just one of those things that it's been a very busy time for myself with the move, the flood, uh, Becca's wisdom teeth getting removed. Like the last 30 days since literally the game got released has been insanely busy. It, I cannot believe how busy life has gotten over the last 30 days. I need the high wrist tape. Not that. I need this one. I think it is. Not quite. It's this one, I believe. Or is it this one? It's this one right here. All right. So then we do the color. Right there. Yo, Botch Guy and Ben Mallet could be a couple of bees. There could be a couple of bumblebees. Yo, are we going to create a tag team called the Bumblebees and it's Botch Guy and Ben Mallet? <laughs> oh, wait. No, it's it's Big Tiger. It still works. Big Tiger and Botch Guy? Not Ben Mallet. I forgot who we gave the bumblebee look to. It was freaking Big Tiger. <laughs> I forgot to add some text. Yeah, we'll definitely try to do that there, uh, Ben Mallet. We'll do a GM mode one time with the CMU superstars. That'll be fun. That, that could be really fun. I believe you can add in... I believe you can add them in, at least. I'm not exactly certain, but I think you can add in custom superstars. Con, you good? Hey, Jojo. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good, buddy. How you doing? Yeah, you can, says Steve Taylor. Well, then there we go, guys. That would be lots of fun to do that. See you later, Tony WWE 2K22. Sick, but why did it just get rid of like what the frig just happened why does it keep getting rid of my outline I'm not happy glitch 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 it's a glitch 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 give me my outline okay my outline it's mine I want it mine and then copy that over there Boom, boom. Oh, yeah, there's the botch guy. Oh, shit. Ha, <laughs> botchy botch. Botchy is here. He's going to cook some food for you. 
right in front of your face. Hibachi style. Such good shit. Looking for the dog. Tag. Um, there it is. Nope, that's not it. But I think it's going to work. Color, let's go with black. All right. Lower body time. So we got a couple of bottoms here. A couple of bottoms. That sounded wrong. <laughs> what did I just say? Oh, my God. Uh, all right. Generic. Let's go. And I need the pants that tuck into the shoes. There they are. With the belt. It's not it. It might be this one. That's the one. Black with yellow with black. Okay, then we need the knee pads. Knee pads are the basic white ones. Just like that. Wait, no, it's these ones. And by the way, my friends, if you like the creation process right here and you're excited for the CMU, then make sure you leave a like on this video. It helps me out a ton. So make sure you guys drop that like. Thank you, guys. The CMU is going to be so damn exciting once it comes around. D C H botch again. Let's get this to the right size. Botch. Yeah, that's pretty good. Botch. And then we drop a outline around the outside of it, which is likely going to go away. I think we know this glitch at this point. I also want to raise it a little bit. So when we... Oh, it didn't go away? Interesting. All right. Interesting. When will I do more career mode? Again, guys, I want to bring so much content to you. I really do. I promise I'm not just not doing content. It has been a busy, busy, busy time. Uh, I am struggling even to keep up just with the main channel right now simply because we have been doing so much a move. A f and, like, I'm not complaining about a Leafs game, but my parents got me it for a present back at Christmas and it, the timing just couldn't have been worse, you know, really, truly. We could have used this entire night to get the house settled. But um, we're going to a Leaf game instead and having to drive an extra hour and a half to go drop the dog off. And then going to have to pick the dog back up afterwards and then drive back here. So it's going to add a whole extra hour and a half on the drive home. Not complaining because I'm excited for the game, but it's not ideal either. <laughs> I want to be able to bring as much content to you guys as possible. I'm just struggling at the moment managing our times. That's it. All right. We will be back as soon as possible with all the content in the world. Back on the schedule that we had before because it was working really, really well before the damn house flooded. Um, if you guys think back, that's when this all went kind of downhill was when the house flooded. We were doing great for a while. And then it just was one of those things that uh, you couldn't really control. It just kind of happened. 
Yeah, and then you threw in WrestleMania weekend with it, where it's literally my busiest weekend of the year. Um, <laughs> it was, you know what? It was one of those things, man. It was just one of those things. Everything seemed to be happening. And while I love that I got through it, it was a busy freaking time. And now here we are in a brand new house. I wouldn't have even thought about being in a new house 30 days ago, which is just insane to say. Uh, we're still dealing a little bit with the landlord uh, from the previous place. We still have a little bit of stuff to get out of the last house, but we're doing that tomorrow during the day as well. So, like, truly, things are starting to move forward, and uh, we're almost done with that chapter. Why am I making botch Cena? <laughs> because it's botch guy rocks or botch guy sucks. It's botch guy. Um, but yeah, tonight we're watching the Washington Capitals versus the Toronto Maple Leafs in Toronto. Myself and Becca are going to the game. My parents are going to be down there already. My sister and her boyfriend are going to be down there already. We're going to we're gonna try to see them. The goal was to go have dinner with them beforehand, but we can't get away in time. Becca won't even be home until 4 p.m. So, just unable to go down a little bit earlier to see them. It will be nice to see them, though. Uh, okay, so we need personal information now. Botch Guy is a heel. He's a heel. Bootleg John Cena. Nah, John Cena's a bootleg botch guy. <laughs> uh, all right, so Bocce is going to be a little egotistical. All right, just a little bit. He is a little disrespectful. All right, just, just a little bit. He's perseverant as heck, though. Like, that's one thing botch guy is. He's perseverant. He will not quit. Uh, treacherous. Nah, he's kind of loyal, but not mega loyal. He's a little cowardly, and he's hecka aggressive. Hecka aggressive. There we go. <laughs> oh, Jamie Todd. Spoken like a person who has not been to a hockey game. Why would I want to go to a cold arena, sit in the cold seats, and watch a hockey game? Because then you get to be amongst the 17,000 other fans or whatever it is, screaming at the top of your lungs every time the Leafs score. You hear the horn go. You stand up on your feet. Your popcorn goes flying because it was sitting on your lap and you were so dang excited to stand up and see a goal. The drinks, the beers that are $20, and they're this big, and they're so freaking expensive. They might even be $25 now after the pandemic. So damn expensive. You spend so much money just to go there and buy a hot dog, popcorn, and beer. And oh my goodness, and then you spend an hour and a half driving there, and another hour and a half getting home, plus an hour in traffic. So two and a half hours. It's lovely. It's the funnest experience in the world. <laughs> Oh, honestly, though, I love going to hockey games. I truly do. Um, it's not usually the the best part getting there or coming home, but it's uh, it's still lots of fun. I love it. I've been to a hockey game at least once every single year, except for during the pandemic era, at least once every single year since I was like seven years old. All right, there's that. Then let's get statistics. What time is it? It's 2.02. Okay, we got less than an hour. This is still our first guy, and we've been creating him for 30 minutes. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This has been a 30-minute creation. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I told you guys it takes time. I told you. All right, let's get Bonch Guy here. So he's got arm power of 81. Leg power of 83, grapple offense of 81, no, 81, running offense 84, okay, you can't even go that high, aerial offense, we're gonna keep it down here at like a 60, aerial range, again, at a 60, power submission offense at a 76, technical submission offense at a 70, ooh, he's maxed out. Strike reversal in 81. Well, he can't even go that high. Grapple reversal, he is a 77. Uh, 
Uh, aerial reversal 65. Body durability 83. Arm durability 86. Leg durability 86. Man, botch guy, I, he can only get to an 80. He's maxed out there. Power submission 72. Technical submission, we'll put him at a 67. Actually, you know what? 69. Hee <laughs> hee. Pin escape, he can be a... Had him at an 89 before. That's way too high. 84 works. Strength, 87. Yeah, that adds up. Stamina, 85. Yo, that stamina is going to drop a lot for Botch here in 2K22. Agility, he's 65. Yeah, we're going to pop all that up there. Recovery, he can be a 73. There we go. 90 overall for the bam, 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 the botch guy, the botch guy. So there he is, everybody, botch guy in 2K22. Welcome to the botch. I could have just titled this creating botch guy in WWE 2K22. I bet you I would have got a couple clicks. <laughs> Magno says every time that the Leafs score, are we sure about that? Well, that's just rude. That's rude. <laughs> oh, man. I, I'm totally forgetting to adjust their menu poses. I got to make sure that I do that every single time. Adjust their menu poses because I'm going to have to go back through and get the screenshots of every single character. And if I don't have it already set up properly, then it's not going to work. Um. How do I even do the screenshots here? Is there a way? Roster? I bet you there is. Edit superstars. Oh, yeah, right there. Beautiful. So custom stars. So we can go through like that. Yo, Antonio Coleman's looks sick. There's Ashton's. There's Austin James. Ben Mallet so far. Big Tiger. Bob. And Botch Guy. Yeah, those are pretty easy to Photoshop. That's pretty easy. Just grabs a uh, a screenshot, nice and gray. It's different down by the legs too. Yeah, that's pretty easy to do. All right, not a problem. Okay, so next, next here is Braden Sports. Woohoo, Braden Sports. Now, I think Braden Sports might get a tiny bit of a makeover. Not a huge one, but a little bit of one. We'll wait and see here how it looks. Uh, Jamie Todd asking, what do I roughly spend? Or what's the max that I'll spend at a Leaf game? Oh, God, man. I If you include, like, the ticket price, it's probably if... Well, I guess it depends if I'm buying two tickets or not. Um, Let's say the tickets cost $120 a piece. So $240 uh, plus the gas going down there. It's expensive right now, plus parking, so you're looking at another 50 bucks there easily. Not a problem, if not more. Um, then you're looking at the cost of a beer, and if I'm bringing my uh, girlfriend, there's going to be two drinks, so at least 50 bucks in beers, roughly. <laughs> like, if they're 25 a piece, if not, then it's going to be 40 uh, Then the hot dog and popcorn which are going to cost about $12, $13, $14, dollars, something like that. So it's not really a cheap night. It, it adds up pretty quickly. Uh, but regardless, it's a fun time every time. There's a reason why I only really go once, maybe twice a year. Almost $400. There you go, Peyton Cash. Look at it, about $200 a person. Um, that's about right. Yep, it's about right. So anyways... Braden Sports, let's get another high flyer in here. Brian Schaefer says, are you serious? Beers are $20 each. I Honestly, man, that's the last time that I went. They were $20 a piece, and that is before the pan. Actually, no, I was at a Leaf game back in November, wasn't I? Yeah, 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 I went to a Leaf game in November, and they were about 20. Were they 25 bucks? They might have been 25 bucks, honestly. Granted, it is Canadian, so it's not American dollars, right? It's Canadian, but still. So how do I spell this guy's name? B 
B R A E A E D E and Braden Spots. Get rid of this. I know it isn't the same event type, but it cost us 380 bucks to see an AEW show. Per person or in total. But yeah, that sounds about right, dude. Events are not cheap to go to. They really are charging premiums for it. And like, I, I get it, you know, it's... But the Toronto Maple Leafs, like, there is how many games a year? There's 82 games, so 41 at home. Like, that's a, uh... It's a lot of money to go to all those games, if people do. And I know people do buy season tickets. My dad is a part of a group that buys season tickets, which allows me to be able to go to the games as frequently as I do once or twice a year. Um... But he splits it with, like, five guys. You know, they, they all just split the cost of the season tickets, and they figure out who's going to go to what games at a later time. It's a really cool deal that he's got, but um, I don't know how he how he's like, afforded those tickets all these years because it's not cheap. All right, so body time. Oh, wait, no. FaceTime. No, not a FaceTime. You guys can't FaceTime me, all right? I know you probably want to, but I don't even have FaceTime, so suck it. <laughs> Let's get that hair. Oh, wait, no, we need the uh, the face. What am I doing? I already said this once. We need the face. Face template. Which face template does Braden Sports have? He has uh, the round... Jaws. This one, right? Nope. It's this one. This one. Right here. This one. Con, what was the hardest live stream to get ready? Hardest live stream to get ready? Um... I don't know. Like, I don't even know what would describe a hard live stream to get ready for. Uh, generally speaking, most of my live streams are pretty pretty much standard for me and how I get ready for them now. You know, most of them don't take a crazy amount of time to set up. It's the actual streaming process. Um, if you're asking what my most difficult live stream has been... Probably, probably the 15 hour live stream that I did, I think like three years ago or something like that, four years ago, that was a long one, that one was tough, it, it was really tough to get through 15 hours of streaming, like, not in a bad way, but like, I just was starting to run out of things to say, I didn't know what to say, played video games, watched old school stuff, uh, watched back old Videos of mine, we uh, talked to Biggs and Zai, we talked to uh, talk to the viewers in the chat, like, yeah, I don't know what else to say, but that was a long live stream. So let's get the attire going here. Body type, alright. Con, will I ever do another 15-hour live stream? Who knows, guys? Uh, I have a life now. <laughs> I have a dog. I got a girlfriend that I live with. Um, life has become very, very busy, and finding time to be able to just uh, do a 15-hour live stream is not the easiest thing anymore. Back in the day when I was uh, a hermit and just staying in my basement all the time, uh, yeah, maybe that would have been possible. <laughs> How tall is he? He's 5'9", 189 pounds. Don't know if he can get there. Uh, pretty close. All right, well, this is Brayden Sports right here. Got the right skin type. 
for him. We'll see you later, women's wrestling fan. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Thank you, thank you. All right, time for the attire now. Says that while currently in a basement. There's a difference though, man. I rented out only a basement before. Now I have a whole house and I choose to put my office in a basement. Huge difference. Huge, massive difference. <laughs> Well, I don't own the house. I should probably make that clear. I don't own the house. I rent it. But still, huge difference. Appearance. Let's go hair and facial parts. Appearance. And we need the long, stringy hair for Braden Sports. Honestly, I might give him that hair. Any idea on the stream time for the live draw? Yep, absolutely. During the Friday night live stream. Friday night Smackdown live stream on the Conman 167 channel. It should be about in half an hour into the show. So around 8.30 p.m. on the Conman 167 channel. This Friday. You know what? I'm doing this. We're giving him the... Uh, the gray hair that he had before. It's going to be Braden Sports. Sometimes Samuel vlogs. I, I say around 8.30 because sometimes we have things to talk about during the first break. And we can't always get around to the draw. So I say around 8.30. Yeah, there we go. We're going with that for Braden Sports. There's a bit of a change up. Hair shave designs. Can I... Give him something different. He's already got that going on. What about this? Oh, that's kind of cool. You know what? Brain Sports is getting that. There we go. I hope you didn't forget about Rampage tomorrow night either. Nope, I didn't, Trey. What made you think I forgot about it? Just because I said we were doing the draw during SmackDown? We also are going to be live with Rampage. There you go. <laughs> uh, the eyebrows need to be more pointed to the center. Like this. All right, and I'm also going to give him a bit of a beard. I know he had a tiny, tiny little bit of one before, but I'm going to give him some scruff. Just something different for Braden Sports. Just uh, make him look a little bit more like a an adult now. He's been in the CMU for a bit. He's no longer a young gun. He's a bit of an adult. There we go. There we go, Braden Sports. Oh, is it not connected on the other side? Hang on, hang on, hang on. We want something that actually connects. He's a man. There we go. There we go. There we go, Braden Sports. All right. Bit of a revamped Braden. I like it. I like it. Nothing else? Cool. Now it's time for the attire. Clothing. Con man, what am I making? The custom universe mode. We're working on all the characters right now to start things off. All right, so let's get rid of these. This right now is Braden Sports. That's this man's name. Braden Sports. But make sure you guys continue to drop a like on this video. Thank you for being in here with me today. Uh, we only have about 45 minutes left in the stream. But we'll get some more characters done as quick as possible. Elbow pad left. I think it was this one that he had. Um, yep, 
or is it this one? It was this one. Or is it this one? Did he actually have this on? He totally did. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, let's go with this one. The color, it's gray on the inside. Gray like his hair. On the outside, we then had a stripe of blue, but it was darker blue. And then this color here was like a bright turquoise. But I think I'm going to change that up to just be a lighter blue. Yeah, something like that. And then let's hit him with the, uh, the gray elbow pad. Or the white. He had white before. No, we're, we're going to hit him with that. We're going to hit him with that gray elbow pad. Yeah, there we go. So just changing up the look just a little bit. Con, I'm assuming Sophia was released? No? I don't think so. I think she should be in there. Is she not in there? Yeah, she's in there. Yeah, she's in the roster. Sophia Barajas is still a thing. Yeah, she literally just won the Women's Championship back at Con Mania. All right. Then we need... Is that all for his upper body? It is lower body then. We need the cool tights. And these ones are the ones with the eagle. Generic. Or whatever bird it is on the side. Not an eagle. These ones. So now the color gets changed up a little bit. Let's go with... Uh, can go with that being the main color. Or we can go with the gray. I, I think we're going to go with the blue. Hit him with the black. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That looks good. With the black or the gray? Do we go gray instead? We go with the gray. Oh, that looks good, man. Third color. Hit him with that. Uh, hit him with that blue. Oh, ho, ho, damn. Oh, damn, man. We've got ourselves. Uh, woo hoo hoo Oh, shit. That's pretty sick. There we have it. Change in color for Braden Sports. Welcome back to the big leagues, kid. Welcome back to the big leagues. That looks sick. All right, our high flyer, Braden Sports. Con, no hat. You got it, bud. You got it. No hat today. Just got a haircut yesterday, and I figured, what the heck? Let's not put it in a hat. Also, I'm going to Toronto in just about uh, an hour and a half here. Is that right? Yeah, just a little over an hour and a half. I'm heading to Toronto, so I just figured, you know what? No hat, because I'm not going to be rocking a hat there. So name information, good. Brayden Sports is cheered. Personality traits, he can be prideful. Hey, bro Fu, good to see you in the chat. How you doing today? It has been a long time. He's perseverant. However, he's a little treacherous. A little treacherous. He does have some boldness to him, and he's got some aggressiveness. So there we go. That's Braden Sports. And Braden Sports can be from... Uh, he can be from Illinois, Chicago, Illinois. He looks like a Chicago guy. All right. 
Wasn't Braden a heel the last time we saw him? Yeah, I think I'm going to re-debut him as a babyface, though, to be perfectly honest. All right, time for attributes. Uh, then we got leg power. We got 75 over here for leg power. Grapple offense is 70. Yo, that's a little low. Let's bump that up to a 74. Running offense, 75. Yeah, that's about right. Aerial offense, 83. We're going to bump him up to an 86. Aerial range, 85 works. Power submission, let's get him up to that 50. Technical submission, get him up to the 80 apparently. That's crazy. All right. Strike reversal is 75. Grapple reversal is 75. Aerial reversal, 75. All right. Body durability, 75. Just, I guess I did a bunch of 75s before. Arm durability, 70. That's different. Leg durability, 70 as well. All right. Power submission, 70. Technical submission, 80. Pin escape is an 80. Then we've got strength sitting there at a 73. Stamina, 80. Agility, 85. Movement speed, 85. Recovery, 80. Beautiful. For an 88 overall, Braden Sports, welcome to the CMU. And I almost forgot it again. Almost forgot it again, the menu screen pose. Let's, let's fix that. There we are. Braden Sports has been created. Give me a thumbs up in the live chat if you guys like Braden Sports there. Feel like the sports man. We have done 13 superstars. Holy hell, that's it. Oh my god, we have 93 to do in total. We've got 80 left! Ah! <laughs> 80 more to go. Oh my god. And we haven't even done any of the entrances, any of the move sets. Oh my god. This is going to take forever. I'll be lucky if it's the start of May that we get this done for. I truly will. I'm going to put all the time that I possibly can into it, guys. But I hope you see why it might be a little late. All right, next one is Brandon Harbin, the Stooge. That's exactly what we're doing, Jamie Todd. The uh, the entrances won't be able to be done on stream here because of the copyright music. So we will be doing that off stream. Brandon Harbin is a light heavyweight, and he would be considered a technician. Brandon Space Harbin. Brandon Harbin. Will I stream the move sets? We'll see, guys. We'll see where we're at once we get to that. I want to get all the characters created first. Uh, so Brandon. All the way at the bottom here. And I don't think Harbin will be a name, but I will check. H A Harper. Nope. Hayabusa. Nope. So no Brandon Harbin name, but we definitely got Brandon Harbin in the game. That's right. 
Thank you guys so much for 68 likes. It's good to have you all here today. Make sure you drop that like. Let's get this all the way up to 100. Be amazing. So, face now? Face template. Face template is... Um, Man, Brandon Harbin really does look different. Is it this one? There is going to be a roster reveal with all the entrances for the new people, my friends. That will happen. There will be a video. It will be great. It will be excellent. Um, I think it might be this face here. Rounder jawline. Right here. This is it. That's the Brandon Harbin. That's the Brandon Harbin face. Talk to you later, King of Fate. Thanks for stopping by, bro. Thanks for having you. Nope, you're wrong, Macho Studios. That's not what happens. Nope, that, you're wrong. You're wrong. Nope. FTL. Frig the Lucha. All right. It's simple as that. Frig the Lucha. Then let's go to, I guess, body. Body customize, so it's either type 5 or type 9, which equals also at 511. 511 is 227, okay. Right there, this might be the body. That's the body. Roger, <laughs> Roger Murtaugh says, I'm too old for this shit. How you doing? <laughs> Good to see you. Oh no, Jamie Todd, somebody's going to have Roman's entrance. Somebody's going to be uh, getting acknowledged. Somebody will. Who will it be though? I guess we'll have to find out. Could you explain more about the new Hardcore Championship? Kind of. Um, it, it's pretty simple. There's a championship that is coming to the CMU called the CMU Hardcore Championship. And the matches, there's only one way to win it. Via knockout. You have to knock your opponent out to become the Hardcore Champion. There will be hardcore matches, like literally hardcore division matches, which will have only knockouts. That is the only way to win. And basically... You knock your opponent out, you win. And if it's in a championship match, you win the title. It's as simple as that. So appearance for Brandon Harbin. He looks like this. No, that's not it. Oh, this might be it right here. Yes, it is. There we go. Black. Yeah, Byronite, uh, literally you were part of my thought process when I was thinking about different divisions needing room for people to make a name for themselves. I think that's a great way to do it. Between that and the TV championship, I should be able to introduce a bunch of new people to the series. Um, so there's Brandon. Get rid of those blue eyes. I don't know what the heck these are there for. Why they keep giving them blue eyes, but it's a thing. And then we need a mustache. 
a pretty dirty looking mustache. I think it might be this one. Nope. Nope, not that one. It's this one, right? There it is. I think. Does that look right? Let's give him the color. Looks a little bit like pubes on the face, but anyways. Uh, you know what? Also, I'm going to give him a... I'm going to give a full beard here. Brandon Harbin's getting a full beard. You know what? Screw it. Brandon Harbin has earned his beard. He's earned his beard here in the CMU. No, it's different there, Trey Lucado. That's the TV championship. The hardcore division is just knockouts. We might lead to something else in the future, but there's no stipulation like defend the title this many times and you get the world championship opportunity. No, not for the hardcore division. That's the TV title. All right, let's get to the clothing now. Let's get this dude in a dapper suit. Up a body. Clothing now, upper body. Let's get rid of that outfit. Let's get rid of that elbow pad. And let's see if there just if there is a full suit outfit. Might have to go with it. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, the crocodile man! <laughs> Uh, oh my god, I could make him like a real comedy character. Like, I could make him a real comedy character, put something like this on him. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't think there's a full suit here, though. Not in the outfits. Doesn't look that way. So let's go to tops number one. Get the suit jacket in there. Wherever it is. It's not exactly what he had before, but no, that's Charles Wright's look. We need the, uh, there we go. Here it is. Found it. So we go with the second color right here as a bluish whoops didn't mean to accept let's fix that color let's make this a little more brighter a little brighter there we have it the tie was a gray tie before this was a gray jacket the buttons were white which I think they still are. There we go. There's Brandon Harbin. Let's get rid of the wrist tape. And let's do the elbow pads over top. Right elbow pad. I think it was just the simple ones right here. I think just something small. I think it's this one. 
Whatever happened to the t the tag team always tuned. Nothing, they just didn't get a lot of TV screen. They're still technically together. Just have not had them on the screen in a while. Are you making the stooge? I am, I am, I am. It's the stooge! Brandon Harbin! Guess I technically don't need them around the fingers. There we go. The stooge, and then let's get the dress pants going. Whoops, what did I just do? Oh shoot, I just knocked something over. Huh. Knocked my external hard drive over. That wouldn't have been good. Glad nothing disconnected. What a stooge, says people. Okay, so the bottoms are... There, they are WWE style bottoms. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'll remember that. I'm just going to take a look and see if there's a better suited pant for us. Um, this one. This one right there. There we go. Color. Let's make it gray. Not quite black. that navy and make that white knee pad can go knee pad can go and then let's get him some nice ass shoes there we go brandon needs a new pair of shoes daddy they are those ones okay just a little bit down Those are pretty good. They're not the shoes that he had before. What shoes did he actually have? He had... Oh, these ones right here. There we go. There they are, beautiful shoes. The man dresses well. And let's get them into a nicer brown. Ooh -wee! Look at those brown shoes, baby. Look at that brownness. Those are sexy. Those are sexy. All right. It might be a little, just a little off the color that I'm going for. See, can I change the material? Will that maybe help? Cloth, matte. Nope. There we go. I like that a little better. All right, my friends. The Stooge looks like he has been created. 
Let's copy that on over. Welcome back, Tyrese. Good to have you back in the chat. I hope you're doing wonderful here today, my friend. I really do. Boom. There we go. Personal information. Menu screen pose. That's a stooge. Boo, this man, he is totally egotistical. He's so full of himself. He's disrespectful. He's desperate. AF. He's loyal, though. That's one thing Brandon Harbin is. He's hella loyal. He is bold. And he's aggressive. Hello, Kevin Davis. How you doing? Good afternoon to you as well. And he could be from uh, Scarsdale, sure. What the heck? Oh, Kevin Davis says bye. All right. Well, bye-bye, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. And statistics now. Statistics. So arm power. He's got that spinning back fist. He's got a pretty heavy, heavy arm at 85. Leg power is 70, though. He does not do leg day. He skips it all the time. Grapple offense is a 77. Cool. Running offense, 81. Aerial offense, 90. Okay, aerial range, 90. Wow, he can fly, man. Uh, power submission offense, 70. Technical submission offense, 80. Cool strike reversal. Got to scroll down. 79. Grapple reversal at 70. Aerial reversal at 82. Body durability at 75, 75 across the board. Power submission defense is 70. Technical submission defense there. Pin escape, 85. Wow. He'd be kicking out of things, and he's got a 79 strength. Stamina, 84. Holy hell, man. What did I do to this guy the first time around? Agility, he's definitely quick. Movement speed there, there, there. Recovery, bump that to a 74. Beautiful. He's a 92 overall. 92 overall for the Stooge. Brandon Harbin. Yo, there's the Stooge, everybody. You guys like it? I hope so. All right. So that leaves us with 14 minutes left. Who's the next person? It's Brian Schaefer. Um, until I ran out of time here. So. I don't think we have enough time. I don't think we have enough time, no. Let's make... Uh... Let's make someone from scratch who we have not made before. There's two people. So we can do TCS Gaming, I think, right? TCS Gaming is one of the people who... Oh, is he not even in my spreadsheet yet? Oh, shoot. Totally missed that one. So TCS, let's do that. All right, so add in, uh, ship down. So TCS gaming. So we're gonna do that, okay? So we got like 14 minutes left. So we're gonna work on TCS gaming right here. Hopefully it won't take too long and hopefully we get somebody looking pretty cool. I don't have a clue what I'm gonna give this guy for a gimmick. So let's, uh. Can we just randomize and then get back to it? 
think we have to choose something first. TCS Gaming can be a... Uh, let's go Light Heavyweight. Light Heavyweight Striker. TCS Gaming can be a Light Heavyweight Striker. Okay, here we go. TCS... DCS Gaming. All right, let's do it. Is there like the gamer or something new? All right, no announcement for you. Actually, yes, I can. I'll have to go back to that at a later time. Anyways. So R3 to random. Let's try it. So let's see who do we get here, guys. We're looking for TCS Gaming. It's not him. <laughs> not bad. Kind of generic. A little too generic. Okay, that's the opposite way. Uh, nope. Nope. Interesting. I'm going to say no, but definitely in the direction. The bottom half of this is sick. Yo, the bottom half is actually really sick. I could see TCS Gaming being this person. We'd have to adjust some things. Um, it's pretty sick. Looks a little bit like uh, Anthony Bowens, just a little bit. TCS Gaming, could we work with that? Could we work with that? Light Heavyweight 236, 58. If I, made him, if I made him a technician, that might work out really well. Okay, we're going to go with this. This is going to be the base of TCS Gaming. We'll move some things around. We'll adjust some things. But I kind of like the... I even like the color scheme. This is going to be TCS Gaming. Grady Dose. TCS. So let's uh let's work on the face here. Yeah, that works. The body, body type. Still like the body type as well. Like I, I think it all works together. Attire is just something that we need to work with. So let's let's mess with this. No, Grady Dose, we just didn't have enough time to create somebody by copying everything over. So I wanted to create someone from scratch because it's usually a little bit quicker of a process when you're not copying. And let's give him... That hair. That's pretty sick. What do you think about the blue hair, guys? What do you think about that? I think I'm going to do some hair shave designs in the side as well. That could be kind of neat.
Well, that's also kind of neat. Um, we could do this. Oh, that might be it. Reduce some of that. Okay, I kind of like that. Let's go with a sideburns. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. I like that. All right. Then upper body. Let's get rid of that ugly, ugly tattoo right there. <laughs> that doesn't need to be happening. And I think we're going to go with... Tattoo on the back. Hey, Brian Sports and Entertainment. Good to have you in the chat. How you doing today? Oh, that's different. This is a new character, my friends. This is TCS Gaming. It's pretty badass. Adrenaline in his soul. Okay, now clothing. Let's go to the upper body. I want to give him the hand. Those are like the Brock Lesnar gloves. Don't think we need Brock Lesnar gloves. I think we just need that. We're going to go with black just for now. and We can come back at a later time once we get the actual color palette that we want to use. So I think I am going to change up the color palette a little bit. I don't mind what they got going on, but I think the light blue is too much of a distraction for what we're trying to make. We're trying to make a bit of a badass over here, aren't we? So let's see what colors we can go with. We could go black, but we got a lot of people who are rocking black right now. Um... Could go something like that for that color. Then this can be black, and this can be. White? Yeah. Okay. Get rid of that belt. We don't need that belt there. And then let's adjust the parts color right here. Ooh, 
damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. All right. There we go. There we go. We got a bit of a badass. Look at that. That's TCS Gaming, my friends. That came together quite nicely. Yo. That guy's going to be a menace out there. guy's going to be a menace. Shit. Let's go, TCS Gaming. He's not somebody I want to I want to mess with. Uh Lost Towers Gaming saying how many superstars am I going to make slash use in this particular universe mode? 90 Four is what I have written down now because we forgot TCS Gaming. And it looks like it's going to be 95 because I also forgot to put Sean704 in there. So, yeah, uh, it's we got ourselves a lot of characters to create. I like that, though. I like that look. Let's go personal information now. Let's get that menu pose. Well, that's pretty good for him. That's pretty good. Uh, we can get a TCS. He should be a baby face coming on out, but with mixed reaction. He's still new. He's going to be proud of himself. He's going to be disrespectful. He is going to be perseverant, though. He is going to be loyal right out of the gate. He is going to have a little bit of cowardness to him. And then he's going to be disciplined. And that's going to be his main thing. Is that he's disciplined in that ring. He can be from... West Virginia. Charleston. West Virginia. Sure. And here is the statistics, which we need to make from scratch. So TCS Gaming, he's going to be a – oh, hang on one sec. I think I forgot something. Yeah, I need to change this to being a technician. There we go. And then he is going to have some great upper body strength and some great lower body strength as well. His grapples are going to be top-notch, 85. Running offense, he's going to be quick. Aerial offense, we're going to leave down here because I don't want this dude flying around that much. Power submission offense, that can be right up there. This guy's going to make people tap out. Technical submission offense, pretty good right there. Strike reversal, yeah, man, 86. Grapple reversal, 84. Aerial reversal, we'll leave that at 76 there. Body durability, he's durable as heck, man, 83. 83s across the board. Power submission defense. He's a pretty good guy at that. That looks good. Pin escape can get up to an 85. Strength. He's strong. He's strong, man. 87. Stamina. 80. Agility. 78. Boom. Boom. For a 93. That's a little too much. A little too much. Ninety-two. There we go. All right. So ninety-two overall for TCS Gaming. Damn, that guy looks like a beast. I'm excited to see what he does in the ring. It's gonna be good. Rock Face says, "Yeah, I get that the CMU guys are members from the chat, but I would think that the process would have been faster if some of the people." 
that had 2K22 uploaded a newer person of their old CMU. I guess he doesn't mind just making all the characters all over again, but damn, that's going to take a lot of work. It is, man. It is a lot of work, but I honestly like being in control of the series. I like being able to control the guys. And then also, when I make changes to characters because of storylines or whatever, I'm not going to have people freaking out like, oh my god, how dare you change my character, right? Because at the end of the day, it's what I decide to do with this series. Um, and that's kind of what has made it successful three for three and a half years. It's just a lot of work to switch it over to 2K22. But I'm okay with it. I'm all right with it. But my friends, TCS Gaming has been completed. And that is going to bring us to the end of the live stream here today. Thank you so much for watching along for the time uh, that we were here. We were live for just over an hour and a half. My hope is to be back tomorrow with another rendition of the creation process. If you guys wish to join back in, then great, make sure you do so. If you don't wish to, well, then that's your choice. But before you leave, make sure you do leave a like on this video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and turn on those notifications so you never miss another one of my videos. Thank you guys so very much for watching along. Have yourselves a wonderful day. If you happen to be watching, Watching the Toronto Maple Leafs game, keep your eye open. I might be on screen. Who knows? Because I'm going to the game. But take care, everybody. Talk to you tomorrow. Until then, I've been Con, and that was the creation of the CMU.